What is a miracle? The OxfordDictionaries.com website defines it as an extraordinary and welcome event that is not ex explicable by natural or scientific laws and is therefore attributed to, by to a divine agency. They should replace divine agency with God. Everyone is so afraid of that word in the modern age. Most people use the word creator rather than God. From 2010 till 2015, I was living and working in Sharjah, which is an emirate next to Dubai. And I used to go at night along the coast to, uh, to relax after night prayers. And two years in a row, uh, I've witnessed something quite extraordinary during the month of Ramadan. Ramadan is the month in the Islamic calendar when all believing Muslims are required to fast during the daylight hours for the whole duration of the month. And in early June 2014, uh, one particular night after prayers and after having dinner, I went to the, the marina with a, with a friend. Uh, we usually sit and chat whilst taking in the, uh, the surrounding area. Uh, you know, walk, people walking by, uh, kids playing, uh, people doing speed walk, exercising, that kind of thing. And one night, we're, me and my friend were just sitting and talking, uh, sitting on a bench, just chatting about life. And I've noticed that the moon was rapidly moving away from us. Like within five minutes, it came over our shoulders and disappeared uh, over the horizon and it was actually my friend who who mentioned it first he said um, he asked me oh did you see that and i said yeah that, that was quite something you know the the moon uh, was racing away uh, it was something that I witnessed for the first time in my, in my life, you know, the, the moon speeding up. Um, usually when you look at the moon, it's, it's quite still, and it takes hours for it to, to move across the sky. Anyway, um, then again, uh, a year later, again at the time of Ramadan, uh, I saw another another thing that was quite uh, unbelievable uh, where the moon again um, moved quite rapidly rapidly in the sky and just stopped suddenly then it changed color and just disappeared slowly like within five minutes and this time I've managed to uh, take some photos with my phone camera. Unfortunately, the the quality is not all that all that good. But um, uh, in 2016, March 2016, I've I've made a video about that about that event, and I just like to play that video. And you know, let you see the, 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 the pics that I took. And these are some of the, uh, the, the pics from my video.
which I will link in the uh, description. Uh, you can see more more photos over there, and you can just see that the, the moon is losing its light and has already changed color. It's looking more kind of a, a rusty brown orangey kind of color whereas normally it should be white again you can just see a slither it's uh, noticeable and it's changing color again This one is just above that building, um, just above the horizon. Again, you, you can see like uh, about 20% of the moon. There's a uh, the dot just above the building. So the, the point I'm trying to make in this video is what I saw in Sharjah, only, only people there, all I could see, and nobody else in the world could see what I was seeing. So in my mind there is absolutely no doubt that the, the moon is a projection. Everything that you see around you, and including yourself, is a creation of God Almighty. Now you can believe that or not, it's up to you, you've been given free will. So, take away what you will, but I believe the moon is being projected as a supernatural entity from heaven. So when you look for the, the meaning of the word simulation, again the OxfordDictionaries.com website defines it as 1. Imitation of a situation or process. 2. The action of pretending deception. 1.2 the production of a computer model of something, especially for the purpose of study. In my mind, there is another, uh, there is an, an alternative definition, which is, it's a reality that's being projected to the human mind from heaven by our Creator. Thanks very much for watching.